multiplying monomials. We're going to be multiplying exponents. We're going to do the laws of exponents for multiplication. What happens when you're multiplying two things and they have exponents? So first of all, you will multiply the coefficients. The coefficients are the numbers in the front. of the letters of the variable. Okay, so the coefficients you're going to multiply. And then you're going to use the product rule to simplify the monomial. So the exponents we will add. Okay, we're going to be adding the exponents. So the product rule says, if you have an m to the power of a times an m to the power of b, all you do is add the a and the b. Whatever that number is, you add it to that number. So that would be m to the power of a plus b. For example, if I have m 3 times m2, what do I do with the 3 and the 2? You add them. So what's 3 plus 2? 3 plus 2, 5. So it would be m to the fifth power. You just add them. The exponents, you add them. The numbers in the front, you will multiply them. So we're going to practice some, and then you're going to do some by yourself in uh, Delta Math. Let's go ahead and do some more examples. Right here, x, x, this one's to the second power, this one's to the third power. When I'm multiplying, what happens to my 2 and my 3? You add them. So what's 2 plus 3? 5. So my answer is x to the fifth power. Why is it x to the fifth power? Let me erase that again. How many x's do I have here? Two. One, two. How many x's do I have here? Three. One, two, three. How many x's do I have in total? Five. x to the fifth power. You just add the two and the three. This one. Okay? What about right here? What is, what is the exponent here if there's nothing? What's the number right here? One. So if there's no number, it's a 1. If there's no number, it's a 1. So how many a's do I have in total? 7. So a to the 7th power. Got it? What about, remember when I said up here that the coefficients, you're going to multiply them? That's these numbers right here, the 2 times 3. Those you multiply. So what's 2 times 3? 6. Okay. And then add the 2 and the 5. 7. X to the 7th power. Okay. So again, the big numbers, you multiply. The little numbers, you add. Okay. Let's do another one. What am I going to do with the 3 and the 5? What am I going to do? Multiply. What's 3 times 5? 15. What am I going to do with the 6 and the 2? Add. Lo sumas. X to the power of 8. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. Do this problem, let me underline, do this one and this one by yourself. When you finish, press play, and then we're going to check our answers. Okay, go. Okay, you should have paused the video. You should have worked them out. Let's start with this one. What's 4 times 2? 8. What's 6 plus 2? 8. A to the 8th power. Don't forget the A. 
Over here, what's two times three? Six. What's six plus two? Eight. So my x is to the eighth power. What about my y? Two plus one is three to the third power. Okay, so the x's go together and the y's go together. Got it? Let's do the last ones. This one right here, use Desmos. What's negative 3 times 8? Negative 24. Because it's a negative 3, okay? Negative 3 times 8 is negative 24. What about my x's? How many x's do I have? 6 plus 2? 8 of them. So x to the 8th power. What about my y's? How many y's do I have? 1 here and... One here, which makes it, how many Y's do I have? Angel? Two of them, Y squared. Okay, so that's your answer. Here, what's the number right here? This is a one. So I have one times eight times two. Use decimals, one, times 8 times 2. Let me go to decimals. 1 times 8 times 2. It's like 8 times 2 is 16. Okay, so if there's no number in the front, it's a 1. So I have 16. How many x's? I have 1 right here. I have 2 right here. And I have 1 right here. How many in total? 4. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. X to the 4th power. And how many Y's do I have? I have 6 right here and 1 right here. Total is 7. Y to the 7th power. The last one. What do I multiply? ¿Qué multiplico? 2 times 3 times 1. What's 2 times 3? 6 times 1, 6. Right? Okay. How many M's do I have? How many M's do I have here? 1. How many M's do I have here? 2. And then no more M's over here, so 1 plus 2. 3m to the third power. And how many n's? Two here, one here, two more here. Five. n to the fifth power. 